Oh, I just landed on top of his face. Hello and welcome to Fish and Porridge. My name is Zach and today we're doing top water bassin on the pontoon. Got that kitted out pontoon with me today. Hoping to take advantage of my standing platform, my obviously my rod holders. We're gonna be using topwater baits, mainly frogs, uh, the whopper plopper, which is my favorite, maybe a buzz bait or something, but we're trying to go for some big bass explosions. Oh, I already see him jumping. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna put you on the chest cam. Stick with me. Let's see some let's see some bass blow up on some topwaters. I'm gonna start with this whopper plopper today. My favorite, it's perch colored. It's like a four inch, I think. Favorite. And then I'm actually gonna put on this frog on my other on my other rod too, just to get ready. Just a simple plastic frog. All right, I've seen some bass jumping over here. I know there's a weed line, so I'm just gonna go over here and cast, hopefully get some action. If not, I know I'm gonna move down there. There's some other weed beds. But let's start here, since I've been seeing them jump. And we're here, so we might as well. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, fish on! That was immediate. Let's go. <laughs> I thought I got weeds. It's a bigger one too. It's a nice looking bass. He wanted it. Yes, he did. Nice looking largey. Pop the hook right there. Good first, good first fish. Very nice. Very pretty. Be a pound. Oops. Get out of here. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Top water bite is on. Hoping for a little bit bigger bass. That guy wasn't bad, but I know there's bigger ones in here. I'm gonna cast this water and pop around a little bit and then we're on a bunch of weeds, so I'm gonna pull out the frog here in a second. Let's see about getting some frog fish if I can't find any on the whopper plopper. Alrighty guys, switching over to the frog. Historically I haven't had too much luck. I think I've caught like one fish on a frog. I brought this out because like these it's really weedy over here. And this thing is really good for uh, dragging through weeds on the surface. Switched over to this gnarly buzz bait. Hopefully we can, uh, I'm gonna cast this over some more open water and maybe we can pull something up from the bottom. I don't use this thing very often. But I know it's effective. bite. Oh, fish on! Nice! Let's go! Maybe they're closer to the shore. First fish on a buzz bait on my channel. Oh, he's a chunker. Look at him. He's a healthy boy. Hook came right out. Beautiful fish. About the same size as the last one. All right, bud, let's get you a better release. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Two fish. I want a buzz bait, too. So maybe 
they're just closer to the shore than I thought. <laughs> so the little guy came for it. I see a lot of little ones actually. Oh, fish on, nice. It's a little guy. <laughs> They're aggressive. Solid pounder. Cute little guy. Very pretty. Farewell. Sploosh. Definitely not bad. Still searching for those lunkers. Still searching for that chunk. Oh yeah, two in a row. That was a good blow up too. It's a little bigger, feels a little bigger. What do we got here? What do we got? Yeah, it's a respectable bass. Flip him on up here. Ooh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Right through the nose. Definitely the biggest bass of the day. Very pretty, super healthy looking fish. All of them, all of them been super healthy looking. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. On the buzz bait of all things. This thing just makes so much noise they can't help themselves. So I get a lot of questions about how stable this platform is and I wanted to kind of give you a demo. So here's me standing, like I could, I can move. If I stand on one side, that's how much it leans over there. If I stand on the other, that's how much it leans over there. I have to like really try to make this thing fall over, honestly. If I stand towards the front, it does lean forward. I probably wouldn't do this because it does, it is, it, it makes your center gravity move forward, but if I stay near the back, like, this is perfect. No, uh, no issues. Like, I can row, I can turn, I can bend, I can reach everything I need to back there. It's really great, honestly. That's, uh, one of the big reasons I like this thing, because it is, it is fairly stable. So, hope this demo is helpful. If you haven't yet seen, I actually have made all these mods myself. Here, I'll link a video where I go over all the mods and each mod individually, uh, in the description below if you're curious and uh, you can make these mods yourself because they're awesome. And it turns the one man standing, you know, it turns the one man pontoon into like a fishing platform. Like it's, I feel like it's a lot more versatile at least for like lake fishing and whatnot. So it's pretty fun. Let's get back to fishing. It's easier to get out of than it looks. The banks are really steep right here. You can see that. It goes, uh, drops off really quick down there. So that's why it looks slightly precarious, but it really isn't that hard to get out of that thing. So to get back in it, it's even easier. So you just have your pontoon like this floating and you just step here and push off. And that's it. All I'm doing is just throwing this out and you have to reel it at a certain speed so it stays on the top of the water. As long as it's making that clacking noise, then you're in business. I'm just letting the wind push me down. Oh, fish on. <laughs> I'm just letting the wind push me down, down lake. This guy's a little guy. I'm just kind of casting at everything. Come here, buddy. You ambitious little guy. He's, whoa, he's got pretty green on him. And right home about though. Pretty guy, that's about it. So I've caught all of them either on, on weed beds, like kind of shallow, or very slightly away from weed beds. Which is weird, because it's really hot. 
it's summer, so I don't know why they're still shallow. Maybe it's just cooler still in the morning. Fishing our way through a bunch of small fish, hoping to find a big one. That's what's happening. We might have to switch to deeper water lures soon. Oh, nice. Not a blow up, but he definitely grabbed it. Getting a couple off this point. Another little guy. Zoop. Oh. Quick release. A lot of these cookie cutter bass. I just want a big bass to just destroy this thing. I know they're in here. I've seen them. All right, I'm gonna put a spinner bait on and fish some of these deeper pools. I can't resist. <laughs> The spinnerbait calls, the call is too strong. All right, so we are now using this big old, I think it's 3 8 ounce, spinnerbait, just bright white. Let's see if anything is interested. Oh, fish on. Let's go. Is it a big one? Ooh, it's fighting a little good. It's a decent one. He's in the weeds. Okay, good. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Definitely came with some salad. Does that count as a trained fish? Solid, solid bass on a spinnerbait. Another, uh, another healthy guy. Oh, he's been hooked before. Well, thanks for your time, buddy. See you later. Whoop. Oh, fish. Fish on. I didn't know if that was a fish or not. That's a really weird take. I think he bumped it and ran straight towards me. It's a nicer run. Yeah, this one might be the biggest of the day. Definitely the biggest of the day. A little bigger. Actually, no. He's pretty much the same size. Very healthy. Very solid fish. He's pissed at his eye. He's looking around for something to fight. Alright, bud. Thanks for your time. Whoop. Doing pretty good. Cannot complain about this bass day. I just landed on top of his face. <laughs> Super aggressive bite. I barely touched the water. Come on, bud. Oh, what a chunker. Look how fat this guy is. Well, <laughs> uh, quick release. Look at the net next time. I've been fishing this lake for a couple hours now and I haven't had any luck finding those big ones that I want. I've caught a bunch of small ones, uh, had a couple blow ups and a couple on the spinner bait, so I'm doing pretty good in o overall. But I really want to catch some of those bigger ones and I think they might be deeper. And there's a lot of weeds, so I'm going to actually go with the tried and true weightless Senko on a Texas rig. So as you can see, the hook is buried in the plastic, it won't get caught in the weeds. I can hopefully get it down to where those big fish are and catch a couple of them. Oh, fish on immediately, are you kidding me? Get out of the weeds, get out of the weeds. <laughs> Jeez, no action for a while, and I just switch baits and just immediately. Oh my gosh. Look how fat this one is. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted you to see how fat it was. Oh, there we go. 
fish on. Get out of there. There's a lot of weeds to get there. And bring the whole salad buffet with him. <laughs> oh, it's a smallie. No, oh. no, 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 no. I do want a picture with you. Okay. Ah, gee. Whew. All right. Ow. He's pokey. For smallie of the day. He's a little pretty guy. Not very red eyes, but you can tell he doesn't have any of those that banding, and he's very bronze compared to the green of the uh, of the largies, the large variety. Let's get a picture with this guy, cause I haven't got a picture with any of these fish yet. Thank you for watching this episode of Fish and Forage. I had a lot of fun catching these bass with topwater lures. Uh, it was a pretty successful day. I didn't catch any lunkers or chunks, but I still caught a lot of decent ones, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I hope the little pontoon demonstration was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about that, hit me up in the comments or feel free to go check out my other videos that I've made with the pontoon, uh, especially the pontoon mod videos. Uh, I actually go through the process and how I did those mods and how I put them on and how I use them. Uh, I'll leave those links in the, in the description to those other videos. But thank you so much. Again, I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys haven't yet and you're watching my videos, go down and hit that sub button. Hit that bell notification so you get notified when my new videos come out. Like this video, comment below what you think, and as always, until next time, take care and keep on fishing.